Hello everyone. Many of you ask me continuously how I install the MinGW compiler or you can say the compiler for running C or C++ program in my workstation. So for those who don't know about me, I already have written an article, an entire article regarding this topic and FreeCodeCamp published that article. This is the article and don't worry, I will provide the link of this article in this video's description box. But today I'm gonna show you how you can install that so that you can also follow the video as well. Now, in this article you have noticed that I have used Windows 11, but in today's video I'm gonna use Windows 10. But don't worry, the exact same process is 100% similar to Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let's start the procedure first. First of all, I need to download MCS2. From where I can download it, I have also provided all of this in this article. So first of all, I need to go to this website mcs2.org and from here, I need to download this installer. Alright, first of all, I need to download the installer and then I need to follow the rest of the processes mentioned here. So after download gets finished, I need to open this executable file and then I will get this type of a dialog box. From here, I need to simply click on next, 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 and I have to wait until it gets finished. All right, after finishing the installation process, simply click on next, and I'm gonna keep the checkbox here because I want to run it instantly, so I'm gonna simply click on finish. And then this shell will get opened, and right now I need to use some command from here so i'm gonna simply read this article you don't have to read it because if you simply follow my video then you should be good to go all right so first of all i need to apply this update pacman seal and i'm simply gonna copy and paste and hit the enter key i'm gonna simply maximize this shell window simply type y and hit the enter key and again simply type y and hit the enter key the window will close and we need to open the window again so what i can do i can simply search for mcs or the good process might be is that simply open this folder mcs2 and simply click this mcs2 mcs so we can open this shell again like this and i need to apply the next command right now and that is pacman so so i'm simply gonna copy and paste this command and then i'm simply gonna press the enter key type y and press the enter key again now if you have followed me till now listen carefully you need to work on this process very carefully because if you are using a 64-bit operating system like me then you can simply follow the video but if you are using a 32-bit operating system then you need to change the command but don't worry everything is given here in this article like as i'm gonna simply use the gcc compiler right now so i'm gonna use so i'm gonna use this command in this video because i am also using a 64 bit operating system but if you are using a 32 bit operating system then you need to apply this command don't worry everything is mentioned here clearly in this article all right so as i'm going to 64 uh, so as i'm using a 64 bit operating system i'm simply going to open my mcs2 folder and then I'm simply going to open this terminal mcs2 mingw64. But if you are using a 32-bit operating system, you need to open mingw32. All right. Now I'm simply going to copy and paste this command. Then I'm simply press the enter key. Simply type y and again press the enter key. So I have basically finished installing the GCC compiler and now I need to install the GDB debugger. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to start reading my article. And here, if you are using a 64-bit operating system like me earlier, you need to simply apply this command and, and I'm going to apply this command as well. 
but if you are using a 32-bit operating system then you need to apply this command in your that shell all right so i'm simply gonna copy and paste and i'm simply gonna hit the enter key and then type y and press enter key. Now after finishing installing everything till now, I'm simply gonna need to add the path of the compiler into the, envir into the environment variables path variable. Alright, so what I need to do, I need to simply open my file manager and I need to go to my C drive where I installed my windows and here, this is the folder where I installed the GCC compiler and 3D debugger. So I'm simply gonna go to here and as I have installed the 64-bit variant, I need to go to MinGW64. But if you have installed the 32-bit variant, you need to go to MinGW32 folder. So I'm simply uh, going to MinGW64 folder and then I need to go to the binary folder which is bin, And I need to simply copy this address and I need to search for sysadvanced. system settings and then i need to simply click this environment variable select this path click on edit new paste it here okay 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 done now if i simply check the version by using this this is the version yes it has been installed successfully and if i also check the g plus plus version it is necessary for running the c plus plus programming language Yes, it is also there and if I simply search for the GDB debugger version, it is also there. So we have successfully installed our necessary compiler and debugger. Now if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.